What's going on YouTube? It's Drew Lefty in DV10. Uh, it's going to be my national recap video. We're almost um, two weeks post-national. I realized I hadn't even hadn't posted a single video yet. Just been super busy once I got back. But um, just had a fantastic trip. I uh, loved every single minute of it. Um, so I'll kind of give my thoughts about the overall show, location, food, people, all the good stuff. And um, yeah, and then I'll show some cards. This will be the cards that I was either, you know, given by somebody or um, picked up at the show part two um, will be some SGC returns that I did a drop off there for same day pickup or end of show pickup and then part three will be um, SGC returns they had a take home special for $15 a card that I sent 17 cards I think or 19 I don't know one of the two home with so whenever those get back I will show those off um, without further ado um, the show, again, fantastic. Chicago is a, uh, a wonderful city. It kind of gets a bad rap with all the crime and stuff, of course. Um, it does does definitely have that, but um, we went downtown one day, and it was fantastic. Uh, ate at Geno's East. Felt totally safe the entire time. Uh, walked around the uh, the river, river walk, parkway, whatever you want to call it. Just tons of life going on down there. Tons of people having a good time. Um, yeah. The show, I love it being in Chicago personally. I think it's a good central location. I think the venue is the biggest and the best. I was last uh, at the National in 2021, and uh, this show was easily twice that size. Um, I've only been to shows in Cleveland and Chicago, but I've been to about five or six Nationals now. But uh, Cleveland, definitely a distant, distant second obviously to Chicago. Uh, the first two days were brutally hot on the inside. Um, I thought their AC was broken and, um, apparently, and this came directly from the three guys who run the show. Uh, it was hot because they were letting dealers out the cargo bay doors to go and smoke. I wish I was making that up. I'm not. Holy smokes. What? what I mean, bunch of morons. Anyways, uh, after that, they I guess they told them they had to walk outside um, to smoke, and it was much cooler on uh, Friday and Saturday. So, But again, um, Max and Scott and I walked around. We thought we saw the entire show the first two days, and then realized on Friday that uh, there was another half of the show we missed in rooms I've never been in in this convention center. Um, that's one thing they need to do a much better job on, especially in Chicago, is um, like some sort of map grouping the vendors together by like product that they sell. It was just confusing. Um, again, there was half the show that we didn't see for the first two days because it was just kind of off in this side corner. Um, so the hobby doesn't do a very good job of promoting itself. I think that's pretty evident. I think that's something Fanatics wants to change for all you modern guys. Buckle up. You are in for a shit show. Um, if any of you guys still watch my videos, probably not, but... Um, yeah, the, the hobby doesn't do a good job promoting itself. We took Ubers back and forth all week long, and nobody even knew what was going on. Locals. I mean, I'm talking a guy who said his son collects cards didn't even know that the National was in his town where he lives. So, yeah. Um, but again, I, th I do think Chicago is a much better place. Atlantic City, we all know, is a dump. People literally get robbed walking to and from the convention center. Um, it does not need to go back there. However, it probably will in 2026. Uh, again, some insider info. I was at a dinner with the um, promoters of the show, and they said basically that it was down to Atlanta, Chicago, or Atlantic City for 2026, and Atlantic City to make up for such a terrible, terrible job that they did with the last show offered to basically subsidize the cost of the show by 90%. So you do the math. Um, they're taking it back there, if I had to guess. Um, but yeah, anyways, I will get into some people. I, I love the show. Like, like I said, Chicago is the best place for it. Love the pizza, deep dish. Um, Giordano's overrated tourist trap. Um, Gino's East, fantastic. I want to try Pizzeria Uno next time I'm there and a few other spots. Um, anyways, met tons of tubers I hadn't seen in forever. I know I'm five minutes in and haven't shown a card, uh, but met up with Nick Mizzy. Nick, always fantastic to see you, dude. One of my longest friends on YouTube. Uh, he handed me just a ton of awesome stuff. Look at that gold chipper. Such an underrated card. That's something I need to do is go back and get every gold chipper. Um, just some fantastic stuff. A lot of new things I did not have. Um, and then a couple really sweet um, cards I picked up from him. Well, 
oh, that he gave me. I'm sorry, it didn't pick up. Uh, Crawford, white refractor, that's awesome. Chipper Gold. I mean, just some fantastic. This is one of my favorite game used cards in history. I did not have it, so I am in love with that piece. Thank you so much, Nick. Whoops. I'm all over the place today, guys. Sorry, it's going to be a long video. Uh, next, into things. Um, again, Nick, awesome to, to see you again, dude. I'm glad you picked up a uh, Matsui auto at the show. That was awesome. I saw that in your post. Uh, went to the YouTube trade night. That was fantastic. Met a lot of old school dudes that I haven't seen in years who have been making videos long before Jeff Wilson knew what a sports card was um, on YouTube. So Dave Archer, OG Josh Johnson fan, 55. Amish Dave, look at that fantastic auto. That is a piece of YouTube history there. It was great to see you, man. Uh, let's see, Reindeer Studios. If you don't know his videos, he handed me this. Check him out. Just a fantastic creator, fantastic artist. I've never seen anything like this handed out, so you can scan that, pause that. Pause the video, scan that with your phone, take it right to uh, his channel. And um, just an incredible artist. I loved watching your journey on the way to that Cy Young portrait. Love that. Um, just again, too many guys to name that I've talked with and met, so please forgive me. Um, but I enjoyed every moment I had with, uh, with all you guys. I uh, met David Smith for the first time in person. He handed me two super badass chippers from a set with never ending parallels, so you can never have enough of these. I'm fairly certain I didn't have either one, and kind of cool, both 14 out of 29. Uh, let's see, what else? I think that may have been it from stuff that people gave me at the show. Again, thank you all so much. Um, the people are the best part of the show, hands down. And speaking of that, after probably 15 years, I finally got to meet Max in person. Um, and I bought a card from him that he picked up off a website, super cheap, really cool. Bugs Raymond, T205, love that card. Fantastic image. I meant to get this reholdered. I'm so mad at myself that I didn't. Uh, Max, you are an absolute gem. Thanks for being a friend. Um, Max and I talk pretty much every day about cards or just whatever. And um, first time I met him after almost two decades, and it was like we uh, had just seen each other, you know, the day before. So... It was great rooming with you, man. Um, he also handed me two incredible postcards. Check out this thing. I love Americana. That thing is fantastic. They can't strike him out. That is gorgeous. I love that thing. I love that it's clean too, unused. That's awesome. Uh, and then he picked up this for me as well. No clue how he stumbled across this, but it's um, a postcard stamped to Rome, Georgia for the Rome Baseball Corporation. And uh, that's where I work, kind of grew up in that area from 1915. It's talking about um, some stockholders of a meeting for the uh, baseball corporation. So I need to look this person up, this M.S. Lanier. That could be actually related to me. That would be super cool. Love the old stamp there. Just a really awesome piece. I, I love this thing. It's going, it's going straight up there. Um, that is it. You know what? Eight minutes in, um, I'm going to have to do pickup videos uh, part four. I'll do four videos. Whatever. Sorry for rambling, guys. National thoughts, pickups, all that good stuff coming up in a second video. Peace out.